hello guys it's your girl kiss Matt, aka that's selling good cheek and you're welcome to my channel once again okay so i'm so excited to be here because we're going to be discussing big brother Nigeria reunion so guys, I've been enjoying it really and this week too has been the bomb, like, oh my goodness. This week has been so, so drama filled and we just can't get enough of this. We want it to be like, it's like, let it continue to go in this space. We don't want, we don't want no dull moments. Like, we just want to enjoy ourselves. This right here, what has happened this week is what we signed up for. I'm right, Abby. Okay, so um, this week it started with... Um, for me, it started being um, interesting with the episode where Ella was dragged. Like, she trended so much. Now, I like Ella. So, and I don't know her personally, so I can't really say, oh, the allegations that were leveled against her are true and all of that. We're just going to go with what we saw on TV. So, <laughs> now, Venita was she trended too because she was the one who spoke about it about um, the allegations she, she accused ella or she you know said ella is deceitful and apparently ella collects money from people with dif different stories and this time what venita was talking about was the fact that okay now let's slow down a little did you know that they okay we didn't all know but now we know that they have a, a whatsapp group and this whatsapp group hmm, a lot of things happen so apparently ella told them her mom was ill she needed surgery and she um wanted them to assist her to assist her with some money so they, they did that they contributed money gave her money and after that they didn't hear anything from ella and so they felt you know they felt cheated they felt she lied to them they didn't even like most of them venita was even saying that she posted a, a makeup photo right after that let's just say they didn't believe her and it was venita who spoke about this but most most of them actually wanted to say something they had something to say they supported what venita was saying it was like it was like a consensus ella is someone that they do not trust and it got to a point where <laughs> Messi asked Ella if she actually, she was like, do you do drugs? Ella was like, I don't do drugs. Messi goes on to say, please don't. Like she said, she actually said that in a way that makes us wonder if Messi has some receipts. Like, did you, have you ever seen her taking drugs? Like, how are you so sure that she does that? No, she didn't say like, she was sure but she you know she gave us some vibe like she knew something so um a lot of people went on twitter saying a lot of things about ella but you know before you can actually accuse someone or before you can say some things to someone about these kind of issues you need facts you need proof we don't have proof we don't know for sure if ella does drugs or if she actually um, is a con artist and you know gives stor stories about maybe you know anything just to raise money but what she did i think this one why all of them got mad really was the fact that you know they actually reached out to her to help and they didn't hear from her according to them the, the next time they were going to hear from ella was when she came back to the whatsapp group saying she had just released the single like we helped you we helped you you came out to us we helped you out and we didn't hear from you you like you just locked up we didn't hear from you and you're coming to tell us you you're just releasing a single or you're working it like seriously are we fools like that's the vibe i got from most of the housemates so they were really pained and that was what they were talking about ella actually um got upset and left the studio but she came back which i actually have issues with like if i'm that hurts and if i'm saying the truth if i'm saying the truth if um what i'm saying if i believe that they are actually attacking me even though i'm in the right i will not go back to that studio like that's something that will never happen but hey she went back to the studio and it continued and <laughs> honestly hmm. this issue of ella i don't know let's just leave it at that like 
she explained um, that um, her parent or her family members didn't want um, their matter in public or something like that. She didn't really have, you know, solid explanations. She didn't have a solid explanation. And so people are still doubting that the authenticity of that story. Like, but um, the thing is, a lot of people think they are asking, would you actually lie about your mom's health? to raise money so you can just squander the money, like waste the money on nonsense. That one is like, it's beyond me. But hey, and then there was this back and forth between Ella and Mercy. We know that that, that has always happened on top of Ike's matter. Because Ella obviously liked Ike and Mercy knew this. So Mercy had an issue with the fact that Ella liked Ike and she was also also trying to be friends with her. Like she felt, no, you can't like my man and also want to be my friend. So it was an issue. And then Ike was there sitting down, feeling himself, feeling like a G. So <laughs> it was, yeah, that was really interesting. It was fun to watch. And it trended a lot. It was like, people are still talking about Ella. And I feel like there's no such thing as bad publicity. So for me, it's something that actually gained Ella more um, publicity, more followers, and all of that. So, yeah, it's cool at the end of the day. So, <laughs> apart from that, um, okay, I think I, I tweeted about um, the uh, Messi and Ella conversation. Yeah. Yeah, there was also um, um, Venita saying that Ike told Mercy that she wanted him. Like, she was like, Ike told Mercy that I wanted him. And then the one about um, Mercy saying to Ella, you wanted me as a friend and also wanted my man, Ike, as your boyfriend. Mercy said that to Ella, yeah. And Ike, I was only playing games with Ella. Like, seriously? Another thing that really, really got people talking was Ella's accent. Okay, that's a story for another day. But... This week, apart from the Ella issue, what really got to me was the altercation between um, Omar Shola and Mercy. Okay, so um, for me, it was, it was not just about watching TV. I learned a lot from that. A lot of people have things to say. People are saying, oh, it's staged. They planned it. It's plan like somebody actually commented on my Instagram that it's, it's um, plan work. I'm like, honestly, I don't know, but... From what we saw, let's just talk about what we saw. The, that altercation could have been avoided. Now, first off, people make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And let's just, you know, accept that Omashala made a mistake when he um, slot shamed Mercy. Mm -hmm. But the problem is Omashala not admitting that he made a mistake. And then going on to actually exchange words with mercy like you've done something wrong this is wrong it's entirely wrong you don't call a woman a prostitute and you do that and the woman actually tells you confronts you the next thing that everyone expects of you is i'm sorry i shouldn't have called you names i didn't i had no right to call you names and all of that but amashala went you know because we know amashala amashala is for me if you ask me amashala is the definition of amashala is drama like amashala and drama bread and butter bread and butter that's what it means to me so i wasn't even expecting less but i i, I still you know in my mind i was still saying ah, let my child just behave for once and let me just say i'm sorry i let this thing go you know hmm. he started shouting he was on his feet shouting messi was shouting see i understand messi zone the only part i didn't understand that i don't support was the fact that she laid her hands on a martial art. she shouldn't have shoved him she shouldn't have pushed him and that got a lot of people saying oh that was the same thing she did with tacha and she didn't get disqualified tacha got disqualified and all of that that's another story anyways but i don't know why oh as in i've been thinking about it i said i must discuss it like how would you like what would actually make you do that kind of a thing and you know you know you are being watched by everyone just say sorry avala even had to come in she also came in like Say sorry. You don't. You're not. You're not right. You're not. What you did was wrong. See, just say sorry. Like no. Like you don't. No one has ever died as a result of saying sorry to someone 
Like, you don't die. It doesn't take anything from you. Just genuinely feel sorry and say that, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said this. You know, I'm not that started making noise, started doing all sorts of, seeing all sorts of things. And it was even compound. It was making matters worse. Like, I didn't fuel to the fire. Saying, um, I know, I know, I know the girls where I did with. You know, reach them. You know, like seriously, guy, just say sorry. We were all expect like the whole Ni of, um, Nigeria was like, well, like this guy, say sorry. Like you need to say sorry. They said sorry after I had actually made a mess of the whole situation. What would I? I think the lessons I learned is the fact that I know it's not easy to say sorry sometimes, especially when you have ego issues but you won't die if you're wrong just tell the person that you're sorry and things won't even escalate that's what i learned that's like the major lesson say sorry that's all i'm ah <laughs> really we said sorry later but i that was it and the fact that you know i also learned it's never going to be right never ever going to be right to slot shame women like don't do it it's not something you should do don't do it and then come back to say sorry. Don't, don't do it at all. You don't have a right to call a woman a prostitute. Like, seriously? That is it. That is like, it's just a no-no for me. And what made um, people really get, um, get mad, upset with um, um, Mashallah was the fact that, honestly, Mashallah didn't really see anything wrong in what he did. That's the truth. He didn't see, he didn't even think what he did was wrong. Honestly, it took people, you know, saying, oh, you shouldn't have said it, just tell her sorry and all of that, for him to come back to his senses. He never wanted to, come to say sorry because I feel he didn't even, you know, you need to accept that you've done something wrong to be able to say or to say sorry. But he didn't think he did anything wrong. So that was why he was still forming worry. Like you're forming worry on top, you actually messing up. You don't call a woman a prostitute, simply put. <laughs> okay, so, um, that was it. And then the fact that I also learned that, you know, when people do things to you or when they say hurtful things to you and you keep all of these things bottled up, when the day that Kasala will bust there, you might not even know how far it will go. I feel Messi didn't even know that she was going to even lay hands on Omashala. She didn't know what she was going to push him, but she was angry because she had everything bottled up. So that's what you, when you bottle things up or you um, keep grudges, that's what it leads to. Like, I feel she ordinarily wouldn't have resorted to violence. She didn't even know, I think, because I was watching it and I knew she didn't even know that she was going to push him. But she was really very angry. You could see that she was really hurt by the fact that he was even compound. She was, it, was, it, was had, it was just, it just kept, you know, doing all sorts of things, saying all sorts of things. He didn't want to say sorry. So that was you know enough to get her so upset so angry she was livid she was she said all sorts like you know <laughs> and honestly i understood everything just the fact that the one what i didn't really like was the fact that she pushed him yeah i, I don't i'm never in support of violence so basically that's it um that particular episode yeah hmm. we're not going to finish talking about it because it's one of the most interesting, I feel it's like the most interesting episode we've seen since it started um, Big Brother Nigeria reunion and we want to see more of, no, I'm not saying they should be fighting, I'm not saying they should fight and make Ebuka and Fraud their audience, like, did you see the way Ebuka and Fraud were looking? It was like, okay, okay, Ebuka's face though, like, just tell them, Otito and Ajamo, that's what we expected, but they were just looking at them, Ebuka and Fraud, like... Seriously, guys, were you guys enjoying the show or what was it that you guys were thinking that, you know, every other person had something to say, they were separating the fight, but you people were just looking. What were you looking at? <laughs> okay, so um, basically that's what has happened this week and I really, really enjoyed it. What did you guys think about it? You know, this Jackie and Kathy matter, eh? People are tired. We're all tired. I don't even want to talk about it because I don't even know what's going on. Like, did Kathy ever do to Jackie? Like, have you... Kathy, come tell us. Has there ever been any time where you stole Jackie's boyfriend and you guys are not telling us? Are we? Is this something we're missing? Is this thing about a stolen boyfriend, a stolen property, or something? Because we are, I'm not getting it. Like, there, is there any time Jackie doesn't talk about Kathy? Like, what did she even steal in your Igba? What did she take from your calabash? 
<laughs> like seriously, I don't understand. And that's another matter that we'll discuss some other time. Um, basically, that's it. Now, before I go, Thelma. A lot of people have something to say about Thel Thelma's um, gist about her um, eviction. She thought um, her eviction was as a result of the issue, the fight she had, or the quarrel she had with Tatcha over her fish. This fish matter, you know, go end. So, yeah, she said she, she was talking about it, and all of a sudden she says, Tatcha's fans are like Tatcha. And the whole, everywhere just blew up like, okay, didn't really blow up like that. But then, you know, people were just like, you know now that the fans are always ready, like always ready to attack. Titans are even known for that. They will just, you don't even have to say attack. They are already there. Eh? They, when you just mention Tata's name anyhow like this, they are, they are ready to, you understand. So, <laughs> yeah, I feel, but because Selma is a very confident person, she's really not, She's not a fearful person. She's not, she's not innocent. That's just it. So the issue I have with Tatcha's fans coming for Thelma is, okay, if someone is your role model, if she's someone that you like, if someone that you support, you, you literally can do anything for her. Why are, you, why are you upset that someone is saying you behave like her? Aren't you supposed to behave like her? Is she bad? That's the first question. Like, is Tatcha bad? Why, do you, why are you guys... Why do you guys have an issue with someone saying that you behave like her? If she's not bad, you shouldn't have an issue with it. Like, honestly, that's what I think. So, basically, that's it. I, I don't know why they are. But I feel like everything is just for all now, for sure, Sha. And I feel Selma is enjoying it. So, <laughs> like I said earlier, no, there's no such thing as bad publicity. So, all of these things, at the end of the day, will be of a very great advantage to most of these ex housemates so, okay, so that's it for um this week's um reunion thing yeah. guys let's discuss what do you guys think um what are you hoping to see next week like i can't wait i want to see more pepper seriously guys please before i go i need to beg you again if you're yet to subscribe please do not forget to subscribe i need you to subscribe so i can grow yeah thank you so yeah bye-bye bye-bye